Uh, day one of the quarterfinals. We're doing the front squat first. And then we're gonna do event one. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna do event two. So we're here at CrossFit East Nashville. I'm getting amongst it right now. So Al is trying for a 3.15 for four. Nice, Al. Full one. <laughs> Alex Red, front squat, 347. Heavy. I haven't lifted that for like one rep in a long time, so I'm happy with that for four. It's been a while. First time ever doing something like this. Obviously, we've always done the open before, but they've never had a quarterfinals. So we have five events to get done in what is it? Friday, Sunday, three. Essentially three days. Um, it starts, you know, lunchtime or two o'clock um, for for the guys in the central. Uh, I actually won my very first open, surprisingly. Um, very wrapped about that. Wasn't the intent, but I'll take it. You know. Not gonna complain about a big W, but um, yeah, took me nine years to win an Open. Go figure. That's crazy. What changed? Uh, I had an awesome atmosphere. You know, have you checked out my training crew? They're, look at them all. They're pumped for this weekend. <laughs> This year, we got floor plans for the first time, which is cool because it gives us exactly what we need. I think they were getting sick of people putting their videos with their camera in like the corner of the ceiling. Today, we got a pretty good setup here. Obviously, we got a lot of space, so handstand push up on the wall. Five feet back is where the dumbbell and the rope will be. Um, and then the new box standard, which will be good. Bicep curls, double unders, kipping, push press, double unders. <laughs> uh, what did you hit? Yeah, two down. Um, I'm not sure. Did she beat us? She was around that time. I think she beat us. And I Twenty think something. Broke. I think. Yeah. Ugh. It was close though. Because I'm having so much fun with my whole like proven training buddies, like it's it's all fun. It's been so enjoyable. Um, but it's also our job and it's what we do. And you know, at the end of the day, I train to compete and so I'm I'm living what I love right now. So, you know, competing and um, you know, absolutely going for it is just that's what we live for. Finish off event two for day one, and then we're gonna have in this heat, we're gonna have Tia, Street, and Brooke, and then shortly after that, we'll have Will, John, and Alec going on. We're gonna just put all effort into this, and then um, see how we fall, see what time we have left, because we got until 2 p.m., and right now I think it's about 10 o'clock, so. It's a lot of GHDs, but like we've been training them for the past like month. We've been doing like 300, 400 weeks, so hopefully, I'm ready for them. I just know there's three movements. Pistols, GHDs, rope, rope climb pistols. It goes in a it goes in a little cyclical way. Oh yeah, Nick, can I have a look at the So just trying to figure out what the workout actually is. 60 GHDs. I mean why didn't they add the 20 and the 10? Pipe <laughs> down over there. Fittest woman in the world. <laughs> Everyone else is worrying about getting rhabdo in their abs and she's like, I want more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Show me some. 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 Diamonds in my grill, you see me shining. Twenty foes on that cayenne when we ride. Now show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Good job, Al. Good job. Good job. Nice. That, that was for sure. I mean, hopefully that will be my worst one. It wasn't very good. But I mean, I did what I could. Um, jumping like up to the first rope climb, my abs were like not okay. The rope climbs were extremely hard when you don't have abs or legs. So. Are we doing another one today, or is that it? Uh, probably another one in the afternoon. But I'm gonna need like. A lot of hours. <laughs> Typically, you have strawberry flavor, which is the red. You have purple flavor, which is the grape. You have blue, which I have no idea what flavor that kind of is. What would blue be? What? Raspberry. Blue, blue, raspberry. blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry? That's not a thing. These guys. I need to have a, 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 an educational, maybe blueberry, not raspberry, because raspberry is red. <laughs> no, blue, a blue What's raspberry. Yellow? I would call this a lolly, but I would call a lollipop a lollipop. There's lollies, and there's lollipops, and then there's chocolate. There's no such thing as candy. We can warm up and see how it goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the thumbs and let's go. Once the thumbs are taped, I am ready to rumble. Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. How do I, work I don't want to work out for that long, Brooke. We gotta go faster. <laughs> We're gonna try warming up for event five and see if we want to do it or not. But I'm doing it. <laughs> well, I'm doing it. Five or six touch and go. That six is that's the workout. I mean, this workout right now is going to be like a three to four minute wad. I mean, we're going to spend triple that amount of time just setting up for it. It standardizes things, which is great. all my nutrition, eating a lot of food. But yeah, that's really it. Just making sure you're eating a lot and sleeping good. Honestly, it's pretty normal. It's like turkey, rice, sweet potato, um, a lot of avocado. Sometimes I'll do salmon, but I haven't done salmon in a while. I'm intrigued to see how we will feel tomorrow with the GH 180 GHDs and, and a few pistols under our belt. Uh, and I'm talking about the squat pistols, just so we know. So we've got the war ball, so that's more squatting volume there. So we'll see, you know, that's a lot of, it's a lot of leg volume, but again, those guys, fortunately these guys train the volume, again, consciously for the 10%, it will be a lot of work for them, especially 180 GHD, so I think their test now is, what they should be doing is working on the recovery protocols now. Smooth is fast, my friend. Event number three. Event number three. The war balls in the row. 120 caliber row. 120 war balls. We've got about three hours before the cutoff time, so still got a bit of time. We're actually debating right now on how we will attack this workout. At the moment, what we're saying is, look, let's just go for 80 unbroken, and if that feels good. Let's just keep going, and that's sort of the strategy at the moment. Brooke is always the DJ, and so she always gets her music choice. Say it. I love it. I mean, 
I actually care about what music is playing, so just let me do it. People are yelling at you and you're like, I, I'm doing everything I fucking can. But no, like, especially with like 20 cows to go, get it up to 1700. Like, that shit helps when you're looking at it. It's like, all right, you gotta fucking try at least. Obviously, uh, like, I have two younger sisters, so I've always had a very special feeling when it comes to the younger generation because my sisters are seven and ten years younger than I am. And as, as much as they are my siblings, I look at them as my own. Um, because I am that much older than them and you know I remember changing their nappies and you know make, getting them ready to for school and stuff I also remember thinking like okay not only do I want to inspire them but I want to help inspire my future children and so there's always been something about the younger generation where I just think that it's very cool to see little kids surrounded by an atmosphere that is encouraging health and fitness and encouraging good habits because I think that that's what you need at such a young age to develop and to be open-minded to always getting better in life. We are grabbing some food. This is kind of right outside the gym. They've got like a bunch of food trucks set up and it's pretty cool. I've only actually been out here once with all the food trucks and I was like in the hot dog mood for some reason so I got a hot dog from that. Is it that one right there? The hot dog was good. But... So we're done essentially. The boys have like one to go um, and I probably will not repeat. The only time I'll repeat is if the boys want to experiment uh, with like touch and go or like singles for the snatches. So we'll we'll see what happens there. But I don't really want to repeat. I have no desire to. I might try sushi from a truck. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we're leaderboard stalking. <laughs> yeah. Um so Brooke is currently fourth. Tia got first in the front spot. And then <laughs> In my region, and nine. Top ten, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah top ten. Let's just say top ten. That sounds way better. She's still in first, obviously. That's all that matters. Just gotta dig a bit, bit deeper. I need to learn how to hurt a little bit more, it looks like. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. But so, thank God she's in a different region. <laughs> Feel about Crocodile Dundee. That's he's a legend. I wish we had a statue in my hometown. Uh, yeah, he's good. He's a really good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Last day of the quarterfinals. We're here now doing test number five. We have roughly three hours before scores are meant to be logged, so we're just uh, hitting number five. So the guys are going. The girls did it two days ago, but they're going to redo it with a different strategy to see. Which one's faster? Um, all the guys have not done it yet, so we're gonna do it this morning and try to get out of the way, knock it out quick. It should be a fast one. <laughs> Fueling up. Sugar in up. Sugar in up. Oh. No. <laughs> That's another power snatch right there.
actually the body's not feeling too bad. I feel better today than what I did yesterday. That workout was definitely a good one to end on. Uh, it wasn't really worth redoing it, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to redo it. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Did we do it? I'm not very confident now, but we'll see. We gave it everything we had, so we'll find out. Like, you know, everybody has shit days, shit weeks, and it sucks to train during that months. And like coming in, and usually, you know, maybe it'll be one, somebody's having a shit day or whatever, but you got the rest of the crew, when you come in, it's like, they're gonna lift you up and like, help you out, like, so. I don't know, just make shit easier. Another good day, string a couple good my, days together, my fuck, fuck around and have a good life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had a good day, my fuck around, yeah. Fuck around, have a couple good days, string those good days together, we'll fuck around and have a good life, baby. Let's go. Fine. I think I said it better, but you know, whatever. <laughs> you did, for sure. It pushes the curve line for the growth of the sport, I believe. It allows to be an inclusive, open experience that everyone gets to participate and then we get to then make a milestone there. I believe that anyone in that 10 to 15 percentile would love to be in the 10 percent range, you know? So I think that allows now an expectation for people to try push to get in that 10 percent. And then what we find ourselves with the quarterfinals, it then allows those that on that 10 percent want to get pushed to the 5 percent or obviously to be that 1 percent realm as well. So I think it allows the growth or that learning curve or that, that experience to yeah, to push that needle of such. But yeah, so I think the next stage for us is that everyone's getting primed and ready for the semi-finals. Uh, we've asked the guys to have a couple days off. They've certainly earned it. And then we've got a long road ahead for the semi-finals and then we've got to push for the games. What is that um, sea salt at caramel one? Yeah, that one. Caramel. Oh, is that the one? Yeah. Okay. Holy. That's my jam. This one's the best. I haven't even tried them all, but I already know. This is really good. Worth it. This season, I've. I've really felt like I've been reborn and I'm so excited for the year ahead. I can't remember the last time that I had that feeling and it's so rewarding and so motivating to have that and be surrounded by such great people. Hello.